situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they and he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Cowboys draw a bit closer. And now Jason Garrett electing for his guys to try for two. Here we go, 46. Now Prescott. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. A five-point game now as here comes the kickoff. This offseason for the Cincinnati Bengals is going to be one of transition. Marvin Lewis, second longest tenured head coach in the NFL, been with the Bengals since 2003, Charles. Let go on December 31st, Happy New Year, after a third straight season of no playoff football. And he actually made that franchise relevant. You remember what a wreck it was when he took over? And then he turned them into a perennial playoff team. Unfortunately, went 0-7 in the playoffs. That helped lead to his demise. When you look at them going forward, though, there are some pieces in place, especially on the offensive side of the ball. They've got a quarterback in Andy Dalton, have a receiver in A.J. Green. That's where things start when they start the rebuilding process. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. The first down throw coming for Dalton. Throw left side complete to Ross. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A gain of six there on first. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. Finding Green complete. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. First and 10. He finds Ross right side. It's complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 12 more yards there and another first down. Hey, get ready for something coming left. Hey, 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 hey. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Two by two. Move. Dalton operating in the red zone now. That's going to be caught by Ross for a Bengal touchdown. As his guys are in for six, and the Bengals are able to grow their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here of the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. Bullock out now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. Then he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Final 12 seconds of the half now as they've got it first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Running one fly deep for Cooper. This is caught inside the 15. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And his kick. 
kick is good. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. 368. 5-0, 5-0, 5-0. Big L3, 368. 5-5-5. 368. Dalton, first and 10. Being chased out left. Brought in here by Tyler Eifert. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. A big play there for the Bengals. 41 yards. Off the play fake to Mixon. This is Dalton. Green's got it over the middle. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. A.J. Green, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Bengals add on to their lead. So now Dalton will lead the Bengals to the line as he'll come up and go for two. He'll try and run it up the middle. And he is going to be stopped short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches. And the two-point attempt is turned aside. Bullock out now to kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener. They, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now Prescott. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Intended that time for Cooper. That'll bring up second down. Well, with that incompletion, Charles, a big story as it always is come January. Head coaching changes around the NFL. If, if you count the situations in Cleveland, in Green Bay, that's eight openings all told. And that's about the number people were starting to predict somewhere around midseason. 
I think out of all of them, the Marvin Lewis situation in Cincinnati, he had been there for 16 years. Many thought he might stay, but it seemed like it was a mutual deal where he decided to step down. But out of all of them, there may be one or two that may recirculate within the league and be a head coach at another spot. Tough for Steve Wilkes after just one season to be let go. Yeah, that doesn't happen very often in this league. He was the unfortunate recipient of way too many injuries on his team. Never got a chance to get off the ground. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. On third down, it's Prescott. He's going to air one out. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And a big 32-yard play on third. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let it go deep, right sideline. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. But depending on the team, they call that an explosive play or a chunk play, the one that they got on the previous one. They tried to go back and get another one, didn't they? They did, but unsuccessful on that second attempt. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott on the left side. Gallup's got it. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. 11 more on that one and another first down. Prescott now. Six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. The give is to Elliott. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice plays. Twelve yards that time and a first down. It's a big plays in the passing game on this drive. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. Only a yard that time. Second and goal. Every team we ever talk to that continues to run the ball in a game, even when they haven't had much success, all talks about attrition, don't they? If you keep running it, eventually good things are likely to happen. It's been a hard go in this game today, hasn't it? Yeah, this defense, they met pretty much every challenge in front of them this afternoon. They're still trying to run the ball, but they're not finding much space. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys get a bit closer. Nice execution there. Good job by the O-line getting him in for the second time. And you always have to start with credit there when you're having a big game. I mean, you don't get there by yourself. That's rare. But how about the ability to see the proper holes, pick the proper place to go, and find his way into the end zone? Switch. Switch and eight. Prescott to throw this time. Steps away to his left. And this is going to be caught. So they do get it. And the two points. Now they're back down to a one-score deficit. This game back with it. A touchdown now as the kickoff's away. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here.
So here's Dalton and the Bengals now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They go three, 368. Three, eight. They go three, 368. 368. He's going to air it out deep for Green. He's got a man complete. A Yo, big play. Dalton to his favorite receiver, Green. 42 yards. That's a big time pitch and catch right there. And partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive bat when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. Throwing on first down, Dalton. And this is caught at the eighth. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Andy Dalton with his third touchdown pass of the game. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. Here's Bullock now for the extra point. Bullock good on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Bullock out now to kick this one away. Short, short kick, one of the up middle take it now. And they're gonna have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 39 yard line. Here's Prescott. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Prescott now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Prescott to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys in possession of the football, but they trail here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To throw is Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. He'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measure. He rifles one that's intercepted. William Jackson with a pick. I think that interception happened for two reasons. Quarterback gets outside the pocket and panics a little bit, and receiver doesn't make sure he's absolutely in an open spot. So there's a guy lurking, took the ball from yeah, him. Yeah, so don't wave your arms, right, as a receiver if you're not wide open? Got to know that you're open. Otherwise, just don't do it. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. They'll 
they'll give it to Mixon. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. That time, the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. Here's Mixon. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. This defense bending but not breaking. It's a gain of three. It's now fourth and goal. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. I guess not content to get another three here late. They'll try to add six more as they go on fourth and goal. They'll run with Mixon, and he's not going to get in. They stop him at the one. They gave it to him in search of his third touchdown, but he's denied. And this Cowboy defense comes up with a goal line stand. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he'll bring it back to about the five-yard line. When you're on your own one-yard line like they were, oftentimes you're thinking just run on any down, get some space there. They elect to throw it. It cost them. You get the sense that they were banking on the element of surprise, right? Everyone expects you to run it there. Let's take a shot. Let's throw it. Try and create some space, some room. And it went awry, didn't it? the INT. Now what can Dalton do? And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Two score game here in the fourth and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar doesn't it? It does and you wonder about their strategy because with a two score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like hey, we've got a good cushion, we can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. They start on the ground with Elliott. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. They needed some breathing room. He gave it to him. 11 yards and a first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And he's going to go down. Back in his own five-yard line, it's a sack. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. 46. Third and long for Prescott. Trying to lay one up deep. And got his man complete. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. 
And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and ten. They go play action here on first down. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked up by Jesse